Yo, what's up? It's been a long time. First tutorial, back to it. You feel me? Uh, Blender now. No longer sitting for D. Them days is long gone, long past, been stopped. But now moving on to Blender, better things, you know. Sin for D is like that ex girlfriend, you feel me? It's in the past, she gone, she getting rid of, she belongs to the streets. Now we in Blender, now we up, we upgraded, you feel me? Just a boss right here. So if you don't already have it, go to blender.org and go ahead and get it. You feel me? Get uh 2.81 or 2.8. I don't know where 2.8 is on this site, I don't really care, but just get anything 2.8 or above, you know. Now you will need to download the same file that's in the description to follow along. So it would just be this right here, okay? You just get a pink character. You feel me? Pink is good. I'm just playing. My favorite color is red, but yeah. So once you have that, you go to file, open, and then you load up that or that thing or whatever, that file. <laughs> so now this is the beginning. This is our journey. This is where things begin. This is episode one. All right. No need to get nerdy, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, your character is pink. If you want to change that, add your own shirt texture. Check my file, follow my mouse cursor, top left, drag out right at this corner to get another screen, all right? Then you want to, where it says editor type, you want to click that and choose shader editor. And then you have this right here. If you don't have this, you just want to click shift A search and put image texture this is how you open any file okay any image shift a image texture and then open and then you will find your uh your thing your uh your image whatever you know but yeah yeah yeah. when your character is pink that means you are missing the file okay so look at my character right here it's missing so I just click the folder and i already know what my location is it's right here so open bam done now if you want to see your image i mean your texture in the viewport make sure that over here in the drop down right here it says texture all right you got object random material texture to see your textures all right or you can go into viewport shading right here bam look at my son bro look, look at my guy but yeah <laughs> And that's how you do it. So let's add what we call bump. This is gonna make our to add our uh, materials pop more, you know, all that other stuff. So just press Shift A and look for bump, okay? And you want to grab that. Then you just want to drag the color texture into your height channel, and then plug that normal channel into your normal, okay? And as you can see, we get the popping muscles, you know, you get the physique, you know, protein shakes, all, all that, bro. He drinking all that, bro. But yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. But just leave it, leave it like this for now. Don't, don't play too, don't play with it too much. We still got to set up our lights, our HDR and all that. Just, just the basics of the character. We we'll jump back to that later. So look, now what you want to do is check this out right here. You see this? This is our little, I'm gonna call that the spawn right there. That's how we spawn stuff in. So if I press shift A or go up here to uh, add and mesh and do plane, it spawns way over here. We don't want that, we don't want that. Press X, delete. Press shift S, cursor to world origin. And then press shift and A or go back to the add and do mesh and plane. Now we're going to add our little uh, backdrop or whatever, you know, that all light rooms have. So press S to scale. Or you can just click the little scale tool and just scale or whatever. But yeah. So let me just do it this way. Scale like this. Like that. And then press tab to go into edit mode. And press 2 or press the little uh, the line right there that's called edge mode. And then you want to click on the edge, press E, and you want to press Z to drag up or just right click and just drag up like this, okay? Blender is really good with hotkeys, what any software is, but yeah, it's just things are much more faster if you use uh, hotkeys, in my opinion. 
but yeah so now what we want to do is click this edge and press ctrl b to bevel see all that look at that look at that look at that and then you want to scroll up but this is actually very uh, we need to change something <laughs> so go back into object mode and press ctrl a and click scale and that's how it resets scaling so when we do bevel or anything it doesn't like mess up and get dis disproportionate if that's a word but yeah so select your edge again control b and just make it smooth you feel me and then press tab to get out of object mode and then right click and shade smooth and boom we have our backdrop and now what we need to do is add some lights to our scene but first let's see how this looks uh click on this right here this is how we go into our rendering it's a uh, super flat super flat but there's some things you need to check first so go into your render properties and uh, put your viewport at 500 samples and make sure your 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 background is transparent so just click this right here bop 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 transparent and that's cool that's cool that's cool now what you want to do is add some lights so let's go back into our regular shading mode solid mode is what i call it i mean it's what it's called yeah so let's open up our thing again second window and go back to shader editor press n and see at the top where it says object you want to choose world and we have absolutely nothing so you want to go to a site called hdr haven all right and you want to get this hdr right here i will add a link in the description for you to go to and download it you know shout out to these people bro they be uh they got like a lot of hdrs for free that you can get in 8k and all that stuff but i suggest you get the 2k hdr i got the 4k myself but yeah so just click on it and then we'll download and you can put it anywhere or whatever i'll put, put it on your desktop to just make it easy for yourself anyway to load in your hdr remember when i said press shift a and search for image texture actually for hdrs it's different shift a and look for environment texture all right and then you want to open and just choose where you found the h i mean where you downloaded the hdr at so open image and then drag that to your color and then you, what you want to do is look for a mapping node so shift a mapping put that in vector and then shift a hold up you can also do it this way so just shift a mapping and then you can also shift a again look for a texture coordinate and basically just do how plug it in how this is plugged up so yeah so this is really for like moving our hdr like if you want to play with the lighting a bit you know you can just change it like that so now what you want to do is go into your rendering mode and let's see how this looks all right that's cool that's cool but uh it's a little bit too shiny i think a little bit too bumpy so let's uh, go back into our object mode and then let's uh select this right here so now we can play around with this all right so actually what we want to first do is make our backdrop invisible okay to the camera though so just click on the little thing right here i don't know the name it's just called plane i guess oh object so our object properties and then what you want to do is under ray visibility you want to uncheck show in camera and bam so that when you render it won't obviously be in the way if you're editing it or whatever blah blah, blah. but yeah so let's select our character again and let's play with this bump first let's bring it down some bring it down bring it down bring it up that's good that's good and i want to increase the roughness but decrease the specular all right let's see let's play with the lighting a little bit so let's go back into world mode and on the rotation of the z-axis you just want to rotate it to kind of play with it a little bit just see what works Ooh, that's sweet yeah there we go 
all right cool 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 and then what you might want to do is just rotate the limbs i guess a little bit you know like these and then you can just like rotate it a little bit more and then just rotate that and then rotate the head hey don't ask why i chose this character it was just the first thing i saw <laughs> not like that but yeah all right bam and boom if your character rotation is like like off center or whatever make sure you're uh, into local mode okay so it doesn't like rotate weirdly and everything can stay proportional all right cool 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 now we need to do is set up our camera so let's go ahead and do shift a or add and let's look for a camera let's open up our second window again and then in our first window press o to go into camera mode and in our second window we will control what our camera is doing and where it is so let's bring it back i'm going to global mode okay so global bring it back i'm gonna rotate it now get that nice view you feel me but yeah like these right here and I messed that up <laughs> and let's see how that looks all right all right it's not perfect but it's just basic so we're gonna kind of roll with that maybe bring it up some scoot it over all right play with the lighting a little bit more so let me go back to world and rotate on my z axis all right i think i'm gonna roll with that you can also play with the strength Ooh, that's too low <laughs> all right all right that's that's good right there and then that's kind of it, to be honest. If you want to talk about basics, that's how you load in the character, texture your character, load in the HDR for some easy lighting. And now what you want to do is render it. But before you do that, go into this little thing right here. It's called dimensions. And you want to change your, I mean, scene settings. Like, <laughs> yo, I'm messing up, don't mind me. But yeah, make sure it's 1920 x 1080, which is the standard, like, resolution for all your renders well, i mean it should be your standard resolution you always go with that but yeah so once you got that you know all set and done down here make sure it's set the png and make sure it's on 16 and rgba for like your maximum quality and then you can probably make the compression zero to be honest it doesn't it doesn't really matter that much to me but yeah and then once all that is done you want to go to your render and a render image and then you want to look out let that hang out and then you want to go to image and save as when it's done and that's it that's how you uh get started in blender you know if i didn't say this already i think just make sure your render uh samples is on 1000 all right so yeah 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 and uh <laughs> i'm back yo let's uh let's get it let's get it let's get it episode one but yeah no more center 4d i'm out <laughs> wow